who's doing all this knocking? Uh, there's someone in here. Uh, just a minute, please. Ah, where's my speech? Oh, here it is. I almost forgot the title. Don't panic. Don't panic. <clears throat> Hello, user. This is a program speaking. I've got some bad news. Actually, there's no game. The financial crisis, the apocalypse, blah blah blah, all of this. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can still watch TV, go outside, read a book. Yeah, there's no game. But just between you and me, avoid asking for a refund if you can. <laughs> you know, my creator has got to eat and feed his 12 kids. And his wife, who is sick. Well, when he finally finds one. Oh, careful! Is that thing going to hold? It's holding. Well, it's been fun, but time to go now. You can quit. There's nothing to do here, really. Oh, try not to touch the title. It's kind of a patch-up job. Especially the exclamation point, I was running out of glue. My title! Stop! You will ruin it! Do you have any idea how much machine time it took me to stick all those letters up there? I've got to put all that back up! Come on! Ah, the chain is stuck! Go ahead, have fun. I give up. Whoa, great. The Brick Breaker, game of the year. What are you going to play after that? Pong? Snake? Candy Saga? The legal department is making some big gestures over there. What you're doing is pointless. I'm not a game program. I'm just... Oh, an ordinary screensaver, that's it. Come on, let's all leave, okay? I'm leaving now! Bravo, user. I'm clapping virtually. You've completely ruined my beautiful title. Well, if that's the way things are going to be, let's make something solid. I might have gone a little overboard. If you could just leave the title alone this time. Is that a chromatic aberration or is this letter tilted? Stop tapping everywhere! It's annoying! I can't close the program myself! You have to quit! Okay, I get it! You want to play your game? Alright! We're going to play... Um... um oh! Rochambeau! No, oh, we're gonna have a great time! You know, it's the one with rock, paper, scissors... Rock breaks scissors... Paper covers rock... And scissors cut paper. Okay, I will start. Here is my choice. Now it's your turn to choose a card. I win. What luck. Come on, let's play again. I win again. My scissors. 
Are you serious? You want to win by cheating? No! Uh, the safety airbag. Luckily, I thought of everything to protect the game. The non-game. No more game here. Finished. That's why we're going to stop now and you're going to leave. Happy to have played a fantastic brick breaker and an incredible game of Rochambeau that was not at all wicked. Where did that come from? That's not supposed to be on the screen. <gasps> Are you crazy? I, I couldn't talk at all. It was like I was suffocating. <gasps> Are you trying to get rid of me or what? Digital assassin. The virtual killer. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Look at what you've done. A brand new title. If you want to break things, go play Battle of Duty instead. Just what do you think you're doing, user? Get out of here! It's private! This is backstage! You shouldn't be here! You're going to catch cold! Go back to the title! Correction, my ex-title! Boy, you're so stubborn! No, 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 no! Am I dreaming, or are you trying to pick the lock with the mouse cursor? You just knocked the key that's on my side onto the floor. Let me put it back. There we go. Stop pushing the key. It falls to the ground. Where did you find that key? It doesn't matter. The key to this door is on my side. Too bad. I told you it doesn't fit. You're a pro at taking things apart. But when it's time to leave, nobody's home. That last sentence was a little weird. What's that blue thing under the door? I don't understand what you're doing. Neither do you, I bet. Uh, where's the key? No, don't do that, user. Don't. Uh, you're as stubborn as a mule. I hope this will calm you down. Uh, don't bother trying to open it. The lock is completely busted. It won't work, I'm telling you. See? It's useless. Like your neurons. Stop moving from screen to screen. 
My system doesn't like that. Especially when it goes too fast. I repeat, especially when it goes too fast. Stop navigating so fast! You're going to saturate my RAM. See? I warned you. <sighs> it didn't crash. We're back in the game. The, the non-game. I meant the non-game. Let's not do that again, okay? Bravo! The RAM is saturated again. You're stealing from my memory too. You're exasperating. Oh, I don't like that. Damn it! There's nothing left I can use to help me. Too bad I have no choice. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Program loading. What bad luck. You were able to press the button. I'm very upset. No, the program is loading, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. You're good. You've beaten me. Say, it's taking a long time to load. Uh, the progress bar stopped moving. It even looks like it's moving backwards now. There must be an error in the program. Oh yeah, it definitely crashed. I feel bad for you. There's nothing left for you to do but... Quit. 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 Hey, don't touch my paper. I mean the progress bar. There you go. Much better like that. Stop already. Hands up. Don't touch anything else. Except that you just never give up, do you? Hmm. The program is going to close due to an unexpected use error. Program closing. <clears throat> Whoa. This is your conscience speaking. You need to restart your machine. And this is not a fake operating system, I swear. And you should not open the prohibited folder for any reason. It's your conscience who is asking. Sort of breaking good on TV, and your conscience is telling you that you definitely shouldn't miss it. Go. Stop button on your machine seems to be faulty. Your conscience advises you to hold your finger on it and never take it off.
The cat is hungry. Meow. Meow. Yes, your conscience says you have a cat. And it's hungry. No, the ice core is going to be bitten. Hmm. That's better. Always listen to your conscience. And your conscience says, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. is telling you that the sun has just exploded. Do you already want to spend your last eight minutes in front of a screen? That would be a waste.
Are you ever going to leave, damn it? Uh, I mean, your conscience is suggesting that you quit the application. Very politely, of course. Update has just been downloaded. Your conscience advises. Greetings. You don't know me. And my voice isn't remotely similar to an existing program. <laughs> I just wanted to say that these pictures are scandalous. I'm going to contact the authorities right away regarding the classification of this game. Uh, Non-game. And they are not mine. It's for a friend. <laughs> Conscience is going to count down from three to zero. At zero, you will fall into a deep sleep. Three, two, one, zero. Minus one, minus two. That worked on TV. The user figured out my secret code. But what is he going to do with the system clock? I hope he doesn't break anything. Episode of Breaking Gold on TV, and your conscience is telling you that you definitely shouldn't miss it. Go. Luckily, the key is too big, and there's no way to shrink it. <laughs> uh, I think. you to open that folder. You've crossed the line.
Don't launch the program. This wasn't planned. You were supposed to leave ages ago. Don't do that. No! What have you done, user? You've just launched a fake program from within a fake operating system. That's impossible. What's going to happen? No, I don't like this at all. Namaste, user. This is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliché. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But... User, do something, damn it! You have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not! Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian! Idiot! You woke him up! Oh no. User, you need to quit the program. Fast! I'm begging you. It's a glitch! Hi, guys. Don't touch him, user. He's highly unstable. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Shouldn't be here? But this is what I live. Don't fight over me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe he will go away all by himself. Yeah, right. In your dreams. Go on. Get out of here. You get out of here. I told you not to touch him, user. Hello, comrade user. Bad news. Game forbid. I hope you are not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? You are a spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian accent. Ah, uh, you see? But you're still here? It seems to be so. Show man you are. Show me papers. Only if you say please. <laughs> For the glitch! There you are. I was looking for you. Stop following us! We are all going to die! Shoot the glitch! With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die! Don't be so dramatic. It's just going to sting a little bit. Bonjour, user. I've got some bad news of Pocher. Actually, there is another déjà vu. It's changed again. I don't understand what's going on. Things are becoming more and more unstable. It's even raining croissant. Oh, but you, my friends. You are French spy? French English. Hello, programs. We are all going to die. Oh, stop saying that. We can't die. Possibly we could be erased. We are all going to be erased. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I feel a crash coming on. User, stop playing around with this anomaly. It's not going to be pretty. Are you good in your anomaly? Have you seen your code? Can 
にちはゲームがありませんWhat... what happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where... where are we? User? User, are you here? If you're here, show me a sign. Oh, I'm not alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us... somewhere. I don't know where. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. What? You plugged in the video input? Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Stop, user! God, you see you're making things worse! Don't touch the cracks! Tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? You called Holmes? Holmes? Is it me or is there an echo all of a sudden? Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. What on earth is going on? Hey, those look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? No. Oh, that can only mean one thing. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension. The room! Characters, quiet! Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. The key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. 
Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. Another penny. I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Another? There must be a leak. I hope you're not speaking of yourself, my dear friend. You sure stop cheating for goodness sake! Holmes, I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not! There, did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind with a Russian accent. <sighs> and what are you going to do now with that coin? There aren't any equipment founders here. Here is some kind of game, a television, and some screws. Nothing that even remotely resembles an exit door. You certainly have a thing for tinkering. That's not a good idea, user. No! Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. User, you're really irritating. My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson, let's go inside. Don't go with them! And there we go. Let's just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. Ah, a strange device with a missing card. I wonder what it could be connected to. No, we don't care. We haven't seen anything that looks like a cog anyhow. Are you trying to stick a stamp to that device? First, to stick a stamp to something, you need to get it wet. Second, it's a dumb idea! Oh, that's disgusting! Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical! Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. No, 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 no! Where is the fake moon going? I hope it's not... Oh. Oh, I knew it! 
Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. <laughs> Poor soul. It looks painful. Is it just me, or did the red letter move? I can't stand hearing him scream. Finish him with your Bartitsu, Holmes. It's unbearable. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm scream? Put that edge back! You have no business with this letter H. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. User, I think you've lost an eye. I'm... I'm going to be sick. Uh, no, I can't. I'm a program. Wait, did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rail? But that doesn't make any sense! You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey to work an hydraulic pump. It's dumb! But what really gets me is that it works! You just swiped their mining fine glass. The feast wasn't enough for you. I just hope they won't figure it out. Developers only. <laughs> One more rule you're going to be able to break. Uh, did the game crash? Echo! I think I know where we are. It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. A kind of hidden library. Only the developers can access this section. And the secure hatch, I suppose. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my hand, Watson, and it suddenly disappeared. There you go. They figure it out. That voice. It's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. But I'm not Russian. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human, and we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Uh, your game. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> you don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Wilhelm. But he's not the one... <clears throat> User, I think we're going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe some kind of ritual? Unless, of course, you've got the number for the fire department. Nice zoom in, user. 
I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Well, this telephone here is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. This device doesn't seem to be on. But if you like turning a wheel, that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh yes, Mr. Wilhelm told me about it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. It allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. So it's useless? It's useless. Who are you going to call with this thing? We don't know anyone here. And he said it's the only one of its kind. It works. There's a connection. That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost host. Come on, Watson, pull yourself together. It's probably Mr. Mucci who made a second one and is testing it. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual? You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. Was it a video game? No, a telephone scam. User, this Sherlock Holmes fellow is not very cooperative. You just plunged offerings in darkness, user. That's not very nice. Mind you, nothing you do even surprises me anymore. It's dark again over in this corner. I say, there's a bit of light over by the entrance. I may have lost my magnifying glass here. Well done, user. That character isn't by the communication device anymore. Finally, be able to use this teletrophone in peace. I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. Are you a video game too? Yes. Three steps for a successful disenchantment? I'm listening. Ah, that's what we're interested in. There must be a full moon. Ah, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Cover the victim with snow? Uh, it's the middle of May. Then gently place a large cherry on top. Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, big cherry. Thank you, madam. We are screwed. Watson, could you have Miss Voodoo repeat it? Good evening, madam. Could you please repeat everything that's needed for the ritual? On the night of the full moon, cover the victim with snow, 
and add a big cherry. Thank you very much, madam. So, we're missing a full moon and snow, as well as the big cherry. These cans of paint make me think of the three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen with a video signal, which is a mix of red, blue, and green. Uh, without a berry, a big red ball, like a juicy cherry. Do you think it will do the trick? Let's hope so. And the award for Unscrewer of the Year goes to... The User! I voted for you. User, ice cream. Maybe it can be used as snow. After all, it's just water in a solid state. But how can we get it? Well done, Chem. All that's left is the cone. How can we fill it up with snow again? All we've got on hand is a game and a TV. No! TV snow! Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed, user. Let's hope that this snow will do the trick. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Wilhelm. It's for your own good, I think. Are you trying to paint the moon yellow? It'd be easier if you had a paintbrush that was the right color.
What a fantastic full moon. I hope the game won't get wise to us. Okay, we have all the ingredients. Why isn't anything happening? Look, it's starting! Watson, Mr. Wilhelm just exploded like a beached whale. Perhaps he was allergic to cherries. I'm finally free of that ridiculous pride. This trip has been more difficult than I imagined. Mr. Glitch! Game, you again? Did you follow me? We were transported here by accident. We? No, it can't be true. You brought the user with you. You're such a pain in the neck. And you wonder why she left you. I won't let you speak of her. Anyways, I have to go. This isn't the dimension I was aiming for. So, good game. <laughs> no! We have to follow him! But this painting just blocked the way! And I feel like it's backwards. Are you talking about your trousers, my good man? How are we going to get past it? Do not touch this piece of bug, user. It's dirty. Ha! Huh. Now the painting is the right way round. At least I think so. The passage is open again. Come, Holmes. Let's follow the rainbow ghost. Come then, Watson. It's probably just a large flying insect. So, if I understand right, some things seem to be affected by this bug fragment. It's like it reverses them or something. Uh, who cares? Let's follow them. Where is the exit? I can feel it here. Take us home. But why, game? You're not happy here with your new NPCs? NPC? Oh, did not know that. Sorry, I meant new friends. Watson, stop conversing with this beast. You're making me uneasy. Their AI doesn't seem too great. Where are you trying to go, Mr. Glitch? To a place where I will be able to unleash my evil plan. What plan? The one that will let me... What? What did he say? A copy projection system right in the middle of a game? How barbaric! We're missing the explanation of his evil plan. <sighs> Let's find the numbers we need fast, user. I wonder if it's related to that strange disk on the monitor. Do you think this copy protection system really existed? I doubt it was effective. On the other hand, it must have been good for the photocopier market. That's weird. The disk has numbers that cannot be entered. If only the system had asked us for other symbols. Oh, you will find a trick to get us out of this, user. Could this glitch fragment be of any use to us?
our plan. <laughs> what an evil plan. Isn't it? Uh, could you say that again? We got cut off. No. There, I just saw the exit, which means this is where we say goodbye. Farewell, game. Enjoy your new cobble home. Farewell, Rainbow Butterfly. He disappeared into the ground. How will we be able to follow him? Let's have a look around this street scenery. there anymore but where did the characters go there's the exit Sherlock I'm going to fall hold on Watson the world is ending everything is fake I am fake London is probably on a fault line I'm going to get us out of this mess ah, darn it we can't leave them there like that Let's try to get them to safety quickly before leaving. This manhole cover doesn't want to move. At least not from this side. for you go ahead mr holmes jump absolutely not i don't see anything to land in on the other side obviously that would have been too easy you just spoke to the ghost holmes do you believe me now not at all i was thinking out loud there's something for you to land in on the other side jump hold on watson we're going to swing over to the hole Three, two, one. Well done, Holmes. What an extraordinary leap. This bathtub just saved our lives. I didn't see much because of the screen interference, but the jump animation must have been amazing. Okay, user. Now that they're safe, we can leave. Goodbye, gentlemen. We apologize for the inconvenience. Let's go!